Okay, YouTubers, this is The Angry Prepper. Today's video, we're gonna ask, can this device save your life? Now guys, I have a question at the end of this video. I would like for you guys to stick around till I get to that question, but it's in pertaining to items like these. Anyway guys, today's video, we're gonna talk about the All's Power uh, SP700. This is possibly one of the better and cheaper portable power banks that I've ever dealt with. This thing is small. It fits in my car with no problem. I often forget it's in the car when it's there. Uh, you guys have seen the EcoFlow, the Jackery, I think it's called Upes, right? And then the, um, the other model that I cannot remember, I have so many. But anyway, all of them were big. And then the EcoFlow actually sent me a smaller model that's like this, which that is also like a powerhouse, but it's more expensive. This is a lot cheaper. So this item right here, guys, is one of the best, one of the cheaper power stations that I come across that actually work and don't have a lot of problems like overheating and things like that. So this little thing, guys, it's a workhorse, right? And I'm lifting it with one finger right now, right? And that's about 11 pounds on my index finger. Um, not that heavy. This item is good for older people. You know, your old folks that don't want to have anything too big like the Jackery or the Blue Yeti, anything, any one of those monsters that are great the way they work but they're heavy this is not heavy for you now this item can charge nine devices simultaneously do me a favor don't do that shit i know a lot of these companies are like we could charge 12 things simultaneously don't charge anything simultaneously unless it's like two or three items at best trying to go after nine if you're testing it out to see if it does great but during a shit hits the fan scenario or just a blackout, don't hook up nine phones and charge them all at once. You're going to run this thing dry like that. That's the thing that they don't tell you. It's great that they could charge simultaneously. The older models or older portable power stations didn't. They did one or two things at a time. Nine is great. It sounds good. But when you actually do it, it drains your battery faster. It drains this faster. Now, the one thing about this is that it does come with a... Uh, a solar panel that I'm going to show you in a little bit. So that's the upside to it. But using a solar panel to charge does take a lot longer. And they, these things still take long. So it's about maybe two, three hours to get to like 50 or 80% or whatever it is. But to wall charge it, it's about an hour and a half to get it from zero to 80%. That's a good thing. So again, guys, these cheaper ones are coming out. And if you have money issues or you just want to save money you don't want to get a big name brand all powers is possibly the way to go especially again this little one that's super light for old people i would call this the old people's champion for uh providing power so this is a 606 this has or is a 606 watt hour this is 164,000 milliamp capacity that's the, uh, again, this is a little thing to have that much power in it. It provides good power. So, for example, the lights that I'm using right now that you probably barely see, uh, the lights that I'm using right now can be powered by this. Smaller fans, toasters, things of that nature can be powered by this. You can't go after anything big like a fridge or a high power TV set. Smaller TV sets still still handle. Smart TVs, I'm not so, so sure. I haven't tested that out. I have had this for about a year now, uh, and I was meaning to do a video on it a year ago, but I had all those issues pop up. So now I'm doing a video on it now, and this thing is living up to its reputation. So this thing, guys, when it comes to charging phones, it has two USB-C ports which a lot of phones are coming with now, like iPads and tablets in general. Then it has a USB-A ports, which are three of them. So it's three USB-As, two USB-Cs. Then it has two AC outlets here, uh, right? AC outlets in the front. It also has two DC outputs on this side here with the USB-A and USB-C outlets. And on this side, it has the 12 volt adapter or output, if you will. So again, guys, you can charge as many things as you want at the same time. If you're testing it now, while society's still standing, when you don't have a blackout, great, test all nine. Do not do it during a blackout or the apocalypse. And if, if it is the apocalypse, I think charging nine things are gonna be the least of your problems. So this is the 
solar panel, right? So this solar panel, when you're choosing this model, the S, I said SP700, it's S700. When you pick the S700 model, it'll give you, if I'm not mistaken, three choices of, po of panels you can choose. This panel, if I'm not mistaken, is the 40, the 140 watt solar panel, which again, you can go with the 110, that's less wattage, which means slower charging. 140 gives you faster charging. Now, this thing here, guys, it's pretty small for a panel, and it, like I said before, it does take a little bit to charge. Now, your charging cables to hook it up are back here. Your panel is in here, which I'm gonna show you guys right now. Right, and so, of course, without dropping it, this is what it looks like. Now, of course, you, you know, I mean, like, listen, guys, the compactability of this thing is insane because these, this solar panel fits in my car with no problem versus the EcoFlow panels that I have, they're ginormous. And I have to, like, you know, shovel them in somewhere or trade one of the kids out to put the solar panel in. This thing fits no problem. And as you can see, it folds with no problem, right? So, again, guys... Um, this little powerhouse of a charger solar bank or power bank if you will sorry is awesome it's it's awesome i think it just just the sheer size and the capacity of power that it has or provides it's bar none one of the best and it's only 429 right and they also have sales a lot of these companies have constant sales uh i don't know if all powers has a sale yet but when they do, I will let you guys know, and you could possibly save a little more money on it. So browse around on their website, see what you like. Again, a lot of these things are starting to become cheaper, with the exception of companies like Blue Yeti, EcoFlow, and the Jackery. They're pretty expensive because they're pretty big. Now, EcoFlow has a smaller model, like the one I showed you a while back. This, in comparison to the EcoFlow, if you are looking to save money and want something that's going to work, go with the All Power S700. All right, guys, so question of the day. Would you add a solar power generator or portable power bank to your preps? I have. They work wonders, and I've used them in blackouts or minor blackouts, if you will, before. I'm pretty sure people around the country have. Would you add one of these to your preps? Answer in the comment section below. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching.